Okay, that's What's your name? Uh, my name is Shikan. Uh, just give me one minute. Uh, I'll just ask the training coordinator. Uh, can you please share the attendee list? What is that? Uh, no, 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 not for you. Let me talk to organizer friends. Shrikan, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please share the attendee list. I have given a presenter, sir. You can continue the class. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm talking is, like, uh, I can see the names. Uh, let me talk with their uh, name. Okay. That's right. Is it visible right now? Yeah. Yeah, now it is visible. Okay, yeah. sir. Please. Uh, Rita, Rita Radhakishan. Uh, hello, can sir. Can you both hear I'm, me? I'm getting unmute. Uh, you can continue the class. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Radha Krishnan and uh, Rita, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, my name is Shrikan and I'm your uh, database trainer, SQL trainer. And apart from this, like I do trainings for Informatica as well as OBA. As well as, uh, especially myself, is a, uh, I work as a project leader. And apart from that, like I do trainings for various technologies, that is the database, CTL tools, Informatica, as well as reporting tools, OBI. Okay, yeah. Let us take, uh, I'll just go with the, from the very scratch level, how I go with uh, all the freshers for the training. Okay, is that uh, comfortable for you? You can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh just uh, for uh, just for idea uh, I, I'm an Oracle consultant with eight years experience so okay. I'm a functional lead actually so, okay. so off lately I see a lot of uh, uh, you know they're asking technical uh, and developer requirements so so my main purpose is you know uh, to get into you have an Oracle functional uh, idea uh, Shrikant? No, I am a pure technical consultant, business intelligence consultant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I work as a business intelligence lead consultant uh, mm -hmm. with the Oracle Oracle technologies, that is uh, Oracle database as well as uh, Oracle business intelligence, you know, right? Business intelligence applications, Oracle BA apps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, all these technologies I work. Okay. So, you will be taking SQL and PL SQL, all those procedure yeah. functions. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. So technical, uh, you'll be taking the. Okay. Yes. But okay. we will not be so, talking about uh, Oracle tables like R interface lines all, OE headers all. That you will not be uh, having idea, right? No, no, no. Uh, this is pure technical training. Like uh, I'll tell you, see, for this training, right, most of the time. 80% of the students who comes very freshers, that means like who finish their masters or who finish their BTEC and they want to learn about the database with Oracle SQL. Okay. Then if they join this training, we'll be teaching them from the scratch level. What is a table? Why we need a table? In order to retrieve the data, what kind of SQL we need to write to the database to get the results in and to get the uh, result populated as per the client expectation, okay? That's the way we will go with this training. Got it, Kiran? Kiran, is it clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Rita, is it? One hour? Yeah. How is it? Daily one yeah, hour? Yeah, it, it will be daily one hour, uh, Kiran, because like uh, by 7 a.m. I'm having Informatica training, that is the ETL training. So it will be every day 6 to 6 for fair, 6 to 7. Okay, it depends on the topic what we discuss. At least, at least one hour it should be there so that we learn yeah. something. It and will be at least one. See, uh, my training will not be, you will not be having any theoretical class in this, okay? Everything, whatever I type, everything will be in practical. I'll be giving you a real-time scenario. So I'll be explaining a real-time scenario. Depending on the how you can write a query. 
and you will be giving database will be having a database access right yeah i'll uh, i'll do the installation on your machine i'll be taking access and i'll be doing installation so that you can this practice. is a demo de yeah this is just a demo that's the reason i'm not showing you installation but from tomorrow i'll take your machine access i'll keep the software download and i will do the installation mostly like uh, the now itself i'll do okay so, let me so explain you so yeah okay end of the day we will be a very good uh, i can go for a developer job and get a job right Shrikant, after yeah uh, uh, end of this training you will be getting very good hands on onto the sql and pl sql okay but to enter into a job like already you are a functional consultant with oracle it will be very easy for you for a fresher to uh, get uh, that means like uh, to get himself as an expertise this training is not sufficient because once okay. he start working on to multiple projects, then he come up with multiple different types of experiences, right? Different types of project experiences, project exposures. At that time, he will become an expert. I'll not say this training will make you an expert. True, right. Frankly speaking, training any training will not make within one month as an expert. Okay. Okay. But you will get very good hands on with the training. Frankly speaking. Okay. So will it be 30 and 30? 30, 30 hours SQL and 30 hours PL SQL? PL SQL will not be 30 hours. So mostly SQL will be more because SQL is the ground knowledge for your PL SQL. Without knowing the SQL, you cannot uh, do the PL SQL at all. Right. No. Okay. So PL SQL, I'll tell you, PL SQL is simply like PL SQL. That means programming log language, structured query language. You understood? That means if I want to write uh, SQL is normally like I'll tell you a simple example. Okay. Select star from tab. Okay. This command will give you all the tables which are available under any user in any database. Okay. And if you are giving select start from particular table we can't see your screen uh, uh, one second can you able to view it yes yeah select start yeah. from table and i want to filter where mm, employee number equal to 10 so what happens, all the employee number 10 related information will be displayed, okay? And if I want to write this as a program, okay? That means <clears throat> I don't want to write this query. This query might be in your real-time requirement. This query might be getting used every day, okay? Then your client wants to write this as a program so that it should start itself and it should end. Got it? without your interaction that means triggering or doing some sequence or whatever it is like uh, that can be the a programming language uh, a query written within a programming language that kind of situation we call it as a PLSQL got it hello yeah 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 Kiran Rita okay let me let me tell you a basic example I'll just clearly explain you why this database is very much important why we need to learn SQL that we will understand first okay so in general if I talk to you about uh, something like uh, uh, a supermarket so what happens supermarket will have all the daily transaction information right Am I right? Okay. Every day, this daily transaction information can be loaded into Excel. Like if it is an household information, suppose your monthly expenditure, where you will be storing in your laptop, you will be storing onto Excel, right? Where you can, if you want to view it, you can double click on it and open and view the information. Let's see, see here. This one is some sheet format. Okay, so this this data we can enter here. 
and you can modify and you can if you want to view it like you can view it at any time okay installment number month year bid amount price amount dividend payment got it okay so when we are doing this we can enter into an excel sheet let us assume not one supermarket okay uh, you take very big organization like uh, uh, so what it will do it is a manufacturing company okay automobile company which manufactures automobiles right in this Toyota you might be having HR data HR department which will have HR data right and sales which will have sales data marketing which will have marketing data right so each and every data should be stored at some database right so if company is having different departments and with the different departments every year there will be large amount of data will be getting added right because uh, Toyota manufactures different models SUVs hatchback sedans like this and they want to they want to load data into a single database or multiple databases whatever it is so they want to maintain huge volume of data at one place if they want to maintain for Excel it is not sufficient right Kiran and Rita. Yes, sir. Excel, there will be some limitation. Okay. But whereas okay. when they take database, right, it is first, it is secure. And next it is, they can increase the size of data database depending on their requirement. Okay. That's the reason organizations store data into a database. Okay. Oracle is one database. which is from Oracle Corp. There were other databases like SQL Server from Microsoft, DB2 from IBM. Got it? There were different databases. Okay. Now, I'll ask you. If you want to see data from an Excel, what we will do? We'll double click and view the data from SQL. Uh, from the Excel. Right? If you want to view data from any database, then you need to write an understandable language to the database. Excel will understand if you double click. Database will not understand if you double click. When you write an SQL, structured query language. Then only it will understand and it will give you the expected results. Now you understand what is the importance of database? Mm -hmm. Is it clear, Kiran, Rita? Yeah. yeah. It is yeah. So the, this, this is why we need a database need to be there in the real time. I'll tell you the other way of using database in real time. Okay. So now This database will be helpful in data warehousing mainly. Nowadays, in data warehousing environment, data warehousing projects, database is the main part. Without database level data, there won't be any ETL process. There won't be any reporting for any organization. Simple example, you know Amazon, right? If I type Amazon.in, what we were able to see in the front end? Some product details, right? right yes if I select something uh, 
if I select computer and accessories, okay, or if I select mobiles and tablets, smartphones, what it is doing? It is bringing you the results for all the smartphone models which are available at Amazon data. Got it? It is bringing you the result in the front end with all the available models from your Amazon database. Got it, Kiran, Rita mm -hmm. and others? Mm -hmm. Okay, that means without the Amazon having a database, in that database without having this mobile phone details, you will not be able to see anything in the front end reporting. Got it? Why database is important? That's the way database plays a major role in the data retrieval or data visualization or data modification, whatever it is. Okay? That's the reason database is very important nowadays when compared to older days like we used to save data into notepads, Excel, all these things. But nowadays every organization, small, medium and large data volumes were getting stored into a database for the security purpose also. See how this database will be helpful in real time. Suppose we have three different types of data. Okay. One database under one database they can store HR data into HR user and they can store sales data into sales user and they can store marketing data into marketing user okay. for every every database uh, schema like uh, we call this one as a schema in real time schema is nothing but having different types of tables okay that means HR will have HR user will be loaded with HR tables. Under these tables, our data will be showing in rows and columns format. Same format, like how your Excel looks right. See here, rows and columns format. All your columns will have the column names. Under that, each cell contains with one volume of data that means like uh, one one content like one record will be entered into each cell got it Kiran, Rita, others yes, you all yes. understood yeah this is how a data will be entered into a database okay till this part like you all understood right do you have any questions no it's clear okay so this is what a database is okay to make I'll just show you a simple example let me log in into this database. So let's start from what I have done here is I connected to Oracle database. Okay. <coughs> here I'm providing admin user ID and password. Just to show you what are the users are available here. See, normally default users are all these users. HR, SH, OE. OE is order entry, HR is HR schema, Scott and Tiger user, SH sales history user. So all these users, this target and BA sample, right, info and all, these all schemas I created for Informatica usage as per my project requirement, like uh, I have done the Informatica installation here. So that's the reason I created those schemas into this database, okay. So these are the default schemas are available. Now I'll show you connecting to HR how data can be retrieved. Okay. 
if i want to see what are the tables are available under hr schema these are the tables are available under hr schema okay Suppose I want to see data from employees table. See, this is the data available. Employee ID we are having, first name, last name, email, phone numbers, hire date, job, salary. This is the SQL. See, if I want to see what are the columns are available, I'll use a describe command. These are the columns and what are their database you can see like this. Okay. If I want to filter employee salary greater than 20,000 only should be displayed. Select star from employees where salary greater than 20,000. <clears throat> Only one employee is there, that is Steven. Got it? Let me make it less than. You'll get remaining records, 106. Total we are having 107 records in this table. So greater than 20,000 is one record and less than 20,000 is 106 records. Got it? Mm. You yeah. can use like this. Salary. I want to find out salary between ten thousand and twenty thousand. Eighteen employees were there. Got it, Kiran, Rita, Akil, others. Is yes. it clear? Yes. This yes. is how we will, this is how we will write an SQL to the database to pull the expected results from the client side. Okay, now client is asking me, Shikant, you type the you get the employees who are having salary between ten thousand and twenty thousand. I'll talk about real time data. Uh, we discussed about Tata is an organization, right? They want to find out the vehicles which are active. That means the database might be having data from 1990 till 2017. That means 27 years of historic data is there. And they want to view the data on the vehicles which are presently under production. That means like there might be so many models which they are not being used right now right they might stop the production at that point what they will do they will put while they are trying to get the vehicle status select star from the vehicles where vehicle status equal to active so what happens only the vehicles which are in active mode today till today those vehicle details only will be displayed if not they want to find out only a model with SUV as an output so what they will do they'll try to put a filter where model equal to SUV. Got it? Yeah. So no, sir. Once again, please repeat. Hello? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. What I'm doing, uh, what I'm trying to explain you is, if you want to find out, if you want to find out data from vehicle of a model SUV, so what you will do? Select start from all vehicles where model equal to SUV. 
So only you'll get the model for SUV and the, all the vehicle details for the SUV model. Got it? Yeah. Is it clear? Kiran, Rita, Akin, yeah. everyone? Yeah, it is clear. This is how this is how we will be learning SQL. Okay. While learning SQL, right? We'll be having different types of SQL statements. I'll tell you. In simple, I'll explain you all this. SQL statements were divided into mainly three groups. One is DML commands. Okay. Which falls under this DML commands is select, insert, update, delete, merge. Okay. Next is DDL commands. I'll tell you what is DDL, what is DML. In this, create, alter, drop, rename, truncate, comment. Next it comes with DCL. Grant revoke. DML means data manipulation language commands. Okay. If you want to select, if you want to insert, if you want to update, delete, merge, all this category comes under data manipulation commands, statements. Okay. And DDL means data definition languages. Okay. Create, alter, drop, rename, truncate, comment, all these commands will fall under DDL. Okay. DCL. Data control language. Grant and revoke will fall under data control language. Got it? Like this, like uh, we are having, uh, I'm just giving you the statement. Someone, uh, uh, can you please mute your mic? Because I'm getting echo. Yeah. So here, uh, when when we start using this one, okay, you will be seeing like uh, how, if you want to retrieve data, you'll be using select. If you want to insert the data into any table, you'll be using the insert command. If you want to update the data, you'll be using update. If you want to delete any content, you'll be using delete. If you want to merge two tables data, you'll be using merge. Okay. The same way, like if you want to create a new table, you will be using the create. If you want to alter any table, you will be using the alter. If you want to drop, if you want to rename, all these options will be done with DDL. Got it? Is it clear? Kiran, Rita, Akhil? Yeah, it is fine. Like this, every day we will be learning some different scenario and some different uh, SQL statement. How to execute this? After executing, how you will be able to view the data onto the screen. Got it? That's the way we will be learning. Is it clear? Yeah. Uh, hi, Shrikan. This is, Ra uh, this is Radha. Uh, yeah. Is there any uh, proper, uh, what do you say, like um, what are the topics you're going to cover or how it's going to do that? Because I just want uh, that, to... That, that, that I will share you. Okay. Uh, that I will share with you all. Okay. Like, so what uh, like are the topics how, means? Like, uh, do we have a day wise uh, so that we can co correlate day wise? How many? See, it, it depends on like uh, um, it will take minimum forty days for your SQL. Okay. After that, it will take another uh, ten days, I think, for PLSQL. PLSQL is all about procedures, functions, triggers, all those things, right? Yes, yes. If you learn perfectly SQL, it will be very easy for you to learn the PLSQL. There won't be an issue. Because in programming, they say you have to be very good in PLSQL, writing all those triggers and programs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay.
ஹலோ Uh, can't hear uh, can't hear is anyone talking uh, i too can't hear anything looks like he... uh, shrikant is talking but we are not hearing looks like hello So all you guys are in india or us no no i'm also not hearing where are you you're in india beta hello sripan sir hello hello uh, is it audible to everyone no yes yeah. yeah it is fine now yeah my name is rakesh and uh, i am from durga software solution i am an organizer uh i am sorry to say that uh, there was a small internet problem in the trainers uh, in the trainer system so the class was ended for now and the class will be continued from tomorrow oh okay fine okay and uh, and, and one more thing in trainer said that uh, he will He will give the uh, uh, software to download tomorrow morning. But but we are supposed to have one hour session, right, Rakesh? Yes, yes but uh, there was a small internet problem in the last session. The power was gone and power cut was uh, formed due to the rain. So the class was ended right now. But if the internet is gone at your end, we should not be able to talk to you, right? Sir was called to me and said that oh yeah, sir was called to me sir. So I have called, made a call to you. Because once we start the class, it should not abruptly they they should not do this, you know. Then it will be a problem for us. I mean, I mean US and some people are. Yeah, it's almost forty hours since class.